friends, I am so excited I get to talk to you today and get to be with you through technology. Even though we're not all at the same school, we get to learn and read together and I'm so grateful for that. So today we are going to be reading Pete the Cat and the Great Leprechaun Chase. After I read, we'll do some of our WH questions, talk about the story, sequence what happened, and then I'm going to give you a fun challenge activity to complete with your parents. I'd love to hear from you guys, see how you're doing, and I look forward to spending some time with you via video. Okay, here we go. Pete the Cat, The Great Leprechaun Chase by James Dean. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in the class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, says Squirrel. I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover, the leprechaun, next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asks. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, says Gus. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win, he better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy? I even got candy, while Pete ends up with squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover. Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. 
Pete helps Gus rehearse for the recital. Gus rocks it. Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make beats the luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. Isn't Pete the Cat just the silliest? I love reading his books and following his adventures. So let's go through our WH questions. Our first one is who? Who is our book about? You're right, our book is about Pete the Cat, our silly blue friend. Here's the next one. What? What was he trying to do? Was he trying to learn how to swim, ride a bike, or catch a leprechaun? You're right, he was trying to catch a leprechaun. Our next one is when. When do the leprechauns come out? Do they come out during Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, or during summertime? You're right, during St. Patrick's Day. Can anyone tell me what day that is? March 17th. The next one is where? Where did he go looking for the leprechaun? Where did he go? Did he go to the store? Did he go to the dog park? Or did he go to the end of the rainbow? That's right, he went to the end of the rainbow. Here's our next one. Why? Why did he want to catch him? Hmm, why? What was the reason? That's right, he wanted to bring good luck to his friends. Such a nice friend. And the last one is how. How did he bring his friends luck? By helping them? By going home? Or by catching a leprechaun? That's right. He helped them by being their friend and helping them with their needs. Awesome. Now let's do the next part. Let's sequence what happened in the story. Let's try and remember what happened in the story. First, Pete started a leprechaun catching business. Next, he went to try and catch the leprechaun at the end of the rainbow. Then, he caught the leprechaun and realized that leprechauns don't bring good luck. And last, he brought his friends luck by helping them with what they needed. Now I'm gonna show you the cards and you retell what happened. Ready? First. Next. Then. And last. All right guys, so my challenge to you to do for the rest of the next few days is to find something that you can do for another person in your house that will bring them good luck. So help them with a chore, help them with homework, help them do something that they wanna do. And I challenge you, you can write about it, you can draw it, uh, and then tell me how you did that, either here in the comments or your parents can email me if they have my email and let me know how you're gonna bring good luck to your friends this next week. Okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.